Welcome everyone, welcome back to Market Analysis. Today we're doing a nice simple dish, everyone's favourite, case line. Now uh, we'll go through the step by step process how I make it, but in this I've got ham and bacon. Normally but you can just put bacon if you like, but I like to put a bit of both. Uh, milk and cream, eggs, cheese, salt and pepper, and also a homemade short crust pastry. Now the thing with the uh, quiche, you know, you can be pretty adventurous with the fillings or anything, do spinach and feta, you put broccoli in it, you know, you can have different cheeses if you really want to be out there, you can put some gorgonzola or goat's cheese, your options are limitless. Just whatever tickles your fancy, just try it, you never know. So here we go, here's, it. here's the end result here, and we're, now we'll go back with our process. Thank you. Everyone, and I hope you found that an easy step by step process of making the quiche. Now, I've made a thin one, but you can do a th thick one or individual ones, whatever whatever you prefer. And you either eat it at a hot or cold, lunch or dinner. And I also did add in some onion and garlic, but I forgot to mention that. Now, for the taste test.
delicious. And the pastry is nice and crispy on the bottom, you can taste that, and uh, you know, it doesn't take long, it only takes a few minutes to make your own pastry. I mean, if you haven't got the time or fair enough, you can buy it. But there's nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with that, doing, doing your own. Now I can taste the, uh, the cheese in there. I like to put it in cubes, so then you can really get that cheesy bite. But then, you know, you can put it in grated and evenly, put it evenly through it. You know, the decision's up to you. But there's so many ways you can do this. What I can say is enjoy it and tell me what you think of it. Thank you very much.